Hello, this is Uncle Jim, and this video is for Papa's Place, and other people might find this interesting. Anyway, he sent me a drawing for the 3D printer uh, and wanted to know if it fits on the Brassmith pattern measure. And after we printed it out, I had no idea what it was for. <laughs> so we'll talk about that. Anyway, everything's explained in this video that he posted after I printed that thing, and we'll go from there. I really like the funnel for the pour back into the containers. So let's talk about this, and it's much easier than doing a email tag back and forth. Let's just cover it now and go from there. All right. All right, so Papa's Place asked me what the dimension was on the Brassmith powder measure tube here, and it's, it's a, a trick, trick question. question. It's, it's a, a trick, trick question. question. Why? And the reason is the plastic is all over the place, and it's hard to measure. So I gave him the best dimensions I could with calipers. Uh, we didn't have anything to measure like a round ball against here. So uh, then he sent me a drawing for 3D printing this, and I had no idea what it was. And so we 3D printed this, and I'm, I'm trying to figure out what it is and everything, and then he did a video, so now I get it. All right, so this is a ring that fits over the top here, and he also made a cap and a funnel, some other stuff. And apparently this is for putting what powder is on it right here with a neodymium magnet, which is, I, I tried one uh, from Harbor Freight and it fits. And so it puts a little sign on there to tell you what powder is on here. All right, so the dimensions I gave you is a little sloppy. It's a little floppy, it's a little sloppy. So... I had my son measure again, and this is way easier than going back and forth on emails. I had my son measure it, and he came out with uh, the outer diameter being 1.981 to 1.982 outer diameter, but it varies. And then the inner diameter, he got 1.873 to 1.872. Thickness wise, we got it's all over the place. So 60, 65, 66 uh, thickness uh, in thousandths. And so uh, the one I, the dimensions I gave you is a little wobbly. What I would do if you're going to do this type deal is make this longer so it doesn't wobble. Okay. And go from there. However, in my opinion, for the brass smith anyway, uh, he's got an RCBS, so he doesn't know what's going on here. For the brass smith, I would just do a ring, okay, that slips down here, like I use the paper rings here. And it'll slip down here to the bottom. It'll tell you you're almost out of powder. So your your ring slips right down here and call it a day. And then anyone could put a white label on here, whatever they want to mark the powder and just have the rings and put them back on their powder container when they're done. That's what I do with the paper rings here. I just throw them back on the powder container for next time when I change powders. So, uh, maybe you want to do that, maybe not. If you want to stick with the signs and the magnets, that's great. Uh, but as far as the uh, brass smith, the plastic is, is dimensionally, I don't know if it's extruded or what, but it's not perfect. So, uh, my best advice to make it fit everyone is come down here so it doesn't wobble so much, especially if you got magnets and signs on there. See his video and go from there. I really like your funnel pour back. Okay, and you can watch it in his video. Are we focused? Okay, so 
pouring powder into this, even though it's a skinny tube, it's easy. I don't need a funnel to powder, you know, pour powder in there. But pouring back into your containers, I really like your funnel that steps down. So it'll go into your powder containers and pour it back. It's super easy. I really like that. I might want a drawing for that one. So uh, that's the best I can do. So uh, these, you know, these tubes are all over the place. And I think you made a cap also. These caps are really sticky. And if you pull too hard, you can pull the whole thing off because they don't have a retainer down here. You can do a set screw if you wanted, but I, I don't bother. I just leave it loose. Okay, so I can pull it off without this coming out. That's the one thing about the brass smith. Measure's beautiful, though. So if you got one of these, don't put it all the way on when you're using it. So when you pour something back, you can... All right. Or do your own cap. As a matter of fact, some powder measures, their cap fits right on top. So that's what I do. I just use a paper ring and put it back on the container so I can use it for next time. I would just do a ring and then people can label it, whatever, and do that instead of the signs and grabbing a box and sorting through that. I just grab my containers, boom, bang, pow. I already got the label on that container and put this one back on. So... I hope the dimensions help you. Also, a lot of times I leave the powder in the container. On the brass smith, there's no hole. It's air sealed, just like your powder containers. And I just take a sock, a black sock, and put it on there. There's no air to lose and there's no light to degrade your powder. And that's how I do it. And that's why I put you off because I had this thing full of 1680 powder before the measurements today. All right. I hope that helps. I would just go with the ring on uh, the the lime uh, the brass smith here. But, you know, if you guys like the signs with the magnets, go for that. Whatever floats your boat. There's my advice there. And I hope that straightens out things. I can't give you a perfect answer on what the thickness is because it varies. I guess that's it. Until next time, thanks for watching. Lots to do.